Shortly after World War II, the United States successfully developed the F-86 Sabre fighter jet. In the same year that the F-86 began service in 1949, a variant of this series, the YF-95A, took its first flight and later renamed as the YF-86D. The officially produced model was known as the F-86D Dog Sabre, a kind of all-weather interceptor armed with rocket projectiles. Despite being part of the F-86 series, the F-86D had limited connection to the A, B, and C variants. Its power, weaponry, and aerodynamic structure were all modified or adjusted, with only about 25% of the components being interchangeable. In terms of power, the F-86D was equipped with a General Electric J47 GE-17 turbojet engine in its testing and early production models. This engine, slightly larger with a length of 5.74 meters, featured an afterburner chamber that output approximately 33.3 knots when engaged. Additionally, the engine was equipped with an electronic fuel control system, allowing for fuel adjustments based on air intake and engine operation, reducing pilot workload and fuel consumption. To accommodate a radar for night combat, the air intake on the nose of the aircraft was adjusted and moved to the underside of the nose. The machine guns initially mounted on the nose were removed to make space for the N-APG-36 radar, connected to the fire control system. However, due to technological limitations at the time, the low level of automation of this system caused difficulties for single-seat F-86D pilots. As an all-weather interceptor, the F-86D was not designed for combat dogfighting and was armed with 70mm unguided rocket projectiles with a single high destructive power. Initially, these rockets were mounted in a box-shaped pod under each wing, each with 12 rockets. This was later changed to a retractable launcher located behind the front landing gear, with a capacity of 24 rockets. Pilots used the Hughes Electronic Fire Control Computer to calculate interception paths and ammunition launch points, and the rockets could be fired in salvos of 6, 12, or 24, each with a high-explosive warhead. Apart from the different nose structure, the F-86D also had differences in other parts of its structure, such as larger horizontal stabilizers and a cockpit canopy that was hinged and opened backwards. The F-86D interceptor had good flight performance, with a maximum speed of 1,137 km per hour at sea level and 998 km per hour at an altitude of approximately 12,000 meters. The aircraft could climb to 12,000 meters with a full combat load in nearly 6 minutes, with a maximum flight altitude of 16,460 meters. The F-86D had its own set of issues, including the problem of short range, with a combat radius of approximately 530 kilometers, shorter than other variants in the F-86 series. The retractable rocket launcher under the fuselage increased air resistance when extended, and the rocket exhaust also affected the engine. A total of 2,504 F-86D interceptors were produced by the United States, not only for use by the U.S. military but also provided to countries and regions such as Denmark and Greece. The U.S. military retired the F-86D in the early 1960s.